we are now set and ready to go for building our user form interface. So let's go ahead and get started. For my previous video, I'm just going to remove the code that I have set up and delete anything that's been on that's on my user form because I do want to start from scratch. If you don't have the user form window already set up in your Visual Basic environment, just select on this icon on your toolbar. It's going to say insert user form or just click the drop down arrow and select insert user form and you'll have a brand new user form in front of you. What I'll be doing in this video is collecting data that's regarding item numbers, the price, and the title of the product. So I'm gonna be working on scraping this kind of data, but when you actually have the department in front of you, so in this case, if I was to click Home Decor Accents and go to this website, so let me just go on and give us some time to load been experiencing some internet slowness so my apologies on that but what we're gonna try to do is capture the title and then get the on sale price and whether or not it's in stock and I guess while we're at it we should get the item number two so that's gonna be the purpose of this web browser web scraper application and the reason why I bring that up is that way we know how to build the user form. So I have my user form in front of me. I'm going to first draw a frame. And I'm just going to call this, we'll call it product details. Just changing the caption. And I'm just going to drag it up a little bit higher. And as mentioned, let me draw a label out. That way, the first thing that I want to label here is item number. I'm just going to resize that. And I'm going to put a text box for the item number. And to make my life a little bit easier, I'm just going to copy and paste this. I'm going to, I'm, all you do is just highlight it and hit Control C, and then you can just paste it and then drag it over to where you would like to set it. This one though, I will have to move it over a bit. And for, for item number, that I'm gonna change to item title. And just move my text box over. And then the next thing that I'm gonna want is, as I mentioned, is the sale price. So I'm just going to, again, copy it and then paste it over. And I'm just going to put item price. And I'm going to, from here, I'm going to decrease the width of my frame, decrease the width of my user form. That's pretty much going to be the main layout. And I'm just going to go to the next row copy and paste my controls. I'm actually going to have to move this over. That way I want to keep all of the fields in, aligned and just increase the, my frame width. And then here item price, that's not what we're going to want. I'm going to want the item number. So I have item number, I have the title and price and now I want to know if it's in stock. And we'll just label that as availability. Come to think, I don't like the way that looks. And I just want to show you this is part of the design where when you're building something. So I'm just going to decrease my item number, the width of it. And I'm just going to move the item title over now. I would rather have all this in one row, or better yet, I think this is going to be a little bit better. I'm going to bring this down here, the item price, increase my item title. I'll put availability towards the right. And then the item price in the bottom. And again, I'm still actually not going to like this because the item title is actually going to be kind of lengthy. So you know what? I'm going to put this towards the bottom. 
and these two controls can be in the top. And I'm glad I'm doing this because I can show you also how you can modify the tap stop because now that I have built these controls and moved them around, it's going to mess with the tap property. And let me show you what I mean. If I hit F5 right now, and let's just say I'm in this field and I hit the tab, it's not going to toggle to the item price. It's going to toggle down to item title because that was the second control that I created. And if I hit tab again, then it goes to item price, hit tab again, and it goes to availability. So it's not necessarily in order. That's something that we are going to want to correct. And that's why I'm saying it's a good reason why I did it this way so I can show you how you can fix that. So I'm just going to move this over to item title, bring it over the text box. So that way everything's aligned and I'm just going to resize my user form. So that's going to be the start of it. And the you want to set up the, the tab numbers to be set correctly. And the way you do that, first off, tab stop will be true. And you look at the tab index of the, of the property. So text box 1, tab index is 1. The second box should be 2. We're going to modify that it's because it says 4. Change that to a 2. And then availability, that box, we want that tab index to be 3. And then the fourth text box, we want to be tab index 4, which is already set up. The text box names, you're welcome to change them if you want because this one is text box 1, the name of it. This one is text box 3. This one is text box 4. And then we have text box 2. So this is going to be the start of the user form. We will be adding more controls throughout the video. This is just going to be the start of it. And I'm just going to draw a, another frame down towards the bottom. And I'm just going to call this program controls. And this is where I'm going to add all the command buttons. So I'm just going to draw my first command button here to get us started. And we'll just rename the caption to test one. 